Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature <laughs> regarding Microsoft List or SharePoint List and actually the possibility to drag and drop uh, items from one place to another. So by default, <coughs> we see, see here that we have a new icon and it's sorted by the ID. As you can see, it. if you don't see it, you can also add it. Uh, <coughs> By the view, we can actually can go and add or remove uh, a column and mark it. Um, now, sometimes we want some uh, order, but uh, sometimes we just want to move it. Sometimes, because it by default uh, puts it uh, according to the order that you created it and not always the order that you want. <laughs> now, you could use an additional column where you could put some numbering and then uh, order it. But here's an easy way to do it. So what you need to do is go to the order and instead of any of these items, we now have a custom order. Once we do that, we, we, we can see that uh, if we hover on one of the items, you see there's two uh, marked lines and a hand. So what I can do is, um, click on it and just drag it and now I see Microsoft Teams has been moved from the first to the last. Now it can be uh, multiple uh, items together so I will mark them and I will take it and just drag it and you will see and by the way you can see two items were moved, we see here this new indicator. <clears throat> now, uh, additional uh, functionality that I saw is, let's say I, I have grouped it. So I took this and said, uh, let's group it by category. So we have one uh, item in a Copilot category, two in Microsoft 365, and one in Power App. But what I can do is, I can mark this one and just drag it, whoops, to drag it into the group. And now, actually, uh, the metadata of the category has changed. And so we also moving it and also the category value has changed. Let's try again. Let's, uh, let's say, move this one to, to here. Now you see also the item has moved to the group and also the, the category. Now I want to show you, um, if we create now a group, oh, uh, a view, which is actually a new board view. I'll click on view. Let's call this board and let's choose board. Let's give it a unique name. We'll say that according to the category, we will group it. What we can do is actually, as you see here, I can take this item and drag it uh, from one to another, and also the value has changed. Now, this, this has been uh, existing before, but now with this, it makes um, some, um, some sense. Uh, in addition, if you see here, I can... Uh, show or hide the packet. So if I don't want to see Copilot altogether, I can just hide it. If I want to bring it back, I can do that. And now we have this. Uh, just notice that automatically I can change the, the value without uh, clicking on the form or clicking on the item to open the form. So if I want, I could do this, but I can also change some of the dates. And, uh, well, the title I cannot do, but for a drop down and uh, a date, I can change it. So this is uh, interesting. And yes, uh, maybe try it out. So uh, now you see that we can drag and drop. Now it makes sense um, for small lists because um, if you have a hundred uh, items, I don't think it's possible or to drag from the first item to the last. But if you have a small list, I think it, it makes sense. 
Um, so thank you very much. Uh, please let me know in the show notes what you think. Uh, is it a good use case? When would you use it? And uh, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Goodbye.